Hi go getters, queens, and everyone in between. It's your girl Grace and welcome to my channel Gracefully. Today I am going to show you how to create lock buns without the use of bobby pins. But before I do, I want you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Let's get started. Creating lock buns can be fast and easy, and it does not require a lot of supplies or products, including bobby pins. Yes, all you basically need are ponytail holders. If you're only doing one bun, just one ponytail holder, or maybe this size if your hair is a bit longer, and a hairnet. Yes, a hairnet. So I plan to have my edges laid. So I'm gonna use a little bit more products, but not really that much. So I am going to use this aloe vera jelly by Lily of the Desert to lay my edges down. And then I have this little comb right here. It's actually an eyebrow archer, but I'm gonna use the comb to comb it down. <laughs> and then this Rapid Junior to lay it for a little bit after I lay it down. So we're gonna go ahead now and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is put our hair up into a high ponytail. And I'm actually gonna use the smaller ponytail holder. And I will only put it around my hair once since it's the smaller one. If I use the larger one, I might, uh, we'll probably wrap it about three times. Alrighty. So, have it up here. Okay, and just make sure you have all of your hair inside of the ponytail. Now from here, now that I have it up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it over to the side. And by the way, you don't have to do a high ponytail in order to create a bun. If you want the bun going to the back, you can do that. If you want your bun going to the side, you can do that as well. So, with that said, I have it all going over to the right side. It could be the left side if you choose, but as long as it's all going to one side, then that will work. Now what I'm going to do is get my hairnet. Now I wanna tell you that hairnets, you can get them in different sizes. This one is fairly large. I will probably go with something smaller in the future and maybe something where the holes aren't as big but this will work in order to let you know how to create this bun without the use of bobby pins so once you take your hairnet you will see these black balls it's kind of making sure the nets are attached but i'm going to use those as a guide okay so this is where i'll start it and then I'll make sure that my hair is tucked in. There we go. Into the net. And so from here, as you see the black part, I'm just gonna let me make sure this is in. I'm just gonna turn my hair like so. Like that. And then I am going to tuck it underneath. And there you have it. So as you see, the bun is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. So that is a good thing. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is lay my edges down. And if you stay around with me, I am actually going to create a little style with the bun using some lock jewelry. So, I'm just putting some aloe vera jelly from Lily of the Desert on my edges. And by the way, all of these products I will put in the description. Um, some of these things I just got from the beauty supply store. Um, but also if you are like me where I'm not really feeling going out and about yet because of the quarantine, um, Amazon, you can definitely get these products from Amazon. So I will have that, those links in the descriptions for you. So just 
laying down on these edges. And of course, you never have to do this. You do not have to lay down your edges if you don't want to. It's just a preference sometimes for me. Alrighty. Good. Actually, I'm gonna turn the baby up. See my hair still got that curl pattern going on. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that and get my Rabbit Junior. <laughs> get one of these out. Right here. And I'm gonna lay my edges down nicely. And just tie it in the back. Alrighty, and then I'm just gonna lay it down for about maybe 20 minutes or so, and then we will be back to see the results. <laughs> All right, everybody, so it's actually been a lot less than 20 minutes because I realized I have to go somewhere today. So, <laughs> with that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it down, but it would lay down, you know, really, really good the longer I lay it down, but it looks good. I think it looks good, you know, it'll do. So now what I'm gonna do, I am actually going to take it down and I am going, look how easy it is to just take it down, right? So now that my hair is down, I am going to go ahead and do a bun and I'm just gonna leave a little bit of my locks out because I want to use some jewelry just to have some fun with my bun. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of leave out, like maybe about this much. And then I will continue like I did earlier and just lift all my hair up into a high bun. So now my hair is in a high bun. Like earlier, I'm pulling all of my hair to the side and I'm going to take my hair net. And again, remember the dark fall pieces are going to be my guide. So I put it right here and I make sure it's all inside of the bun, right? Then we turn it, turn it, turn it. Yep, and then we tuck. And bam, look at that bun. Look at that bun, it's a nice bun. All right, now with the leave out, what I'm going to do is take some hair jewelry and just put it in different areas. So for instance, I will do this right here. Take another one, maybe do it a little lower. Then with these, I have different sizes. This one's like a cylinder. I'll just open it and then clasp it. All right, so now I have the corkscrew type. I don't know if that's the name of it, but that's what it looks like to me. And I used to have troubles figuring out how to use this. So basically what you do is you just tighten it up. So like squeeze it down in. And then what you're gonna do is just take your lock and you're gonna put it through the hole. Like I said, I don't know, some of you may be like, oh, that was simple. But it took me a while to realize that's all I had to do. So I'm gonna do that, right? Take that, and then I'm just gonna open it up and slide it on down. There you go. Bam, see that? And then I think I'll take one more of those and I'll put it on this lock right here. Well, I'll do it on this lock right here. Slide it through, see that? Slide it on through the hole, slide it up, and then you just open it up. And there you have it. All right, so this is what the lock bun looks like with the hair jewelry, the accessories. I love it, I love it, I love it. 
And so with that said, again, with the cap, right? So with the hairnet that you have, um, they come in all different sizes and you may want to look for the ones that the holes aren't so big because you do not want it to be noticeable that you have a, a hairnet on your hair. So they have different colors as well. So depending on what your hair color, you can get one that matches your hair color. With that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. Go ahead and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And as always, remember, there is no such thing as a box. Let's go get it.